Mr. P's Science and Math Podcasts. For more science and math concepts, search me out on iTunes by typing Papa Podcasts. You can contact me at Mr. P. Lieberman at gmail.com. Thank you for watching. Multiplying monomials. The key to this lesson is as follows. When we're multiplying monomials, and remember as uh, in the uh, previous lesson on types of polynomials, monomials means one term. When multiplying monomials, the thing to keep in mind is that when we are multiplying, we are going to be multiplying numbers with numbers and letters and the same letters or variables letters with letters okay other thing to keep in mind when looking at multiplying monomials is to keep in mind the exponents rule okay and we're going to see that um, in just a second so let's look at a first example here we have 2x squared and then another set of brackets 7x cubed. Whenever we have brackets that are side by side like that, keep in mind that the function is multiplication. Okay, so whenever you, you have a whole bunch of brackets uh, held together, notice how really there's nothing in between uh, the sets of brackets, just pretty much you close one bracket, you open another set. And every time you do that, this is what we do in terms of multiplication. Now, if we look at what we said, the first rule, multiplying numbers with numbers, letters with letters. So the numbers are going to be multiplied together. And when we multiply the two numbers together, we are going to get 14. When we're going to be multiplying the letters together, we're going to be multiplying x squared by x cubed. Whenever we're multiplying that, keep in mind that the rule for the exponents rule. In terms of the exponents, whenever we are multiplying powers that have the same base, the base being x here, we are going to add the exponents. So the base remains the same, x. We're going to add the exponents. In other words, this answer is not completed where it's at. We have 14x, 2 plus 3. We're going to add this 2 plus 3 here, and it'll give us an answer of 14x to the power of 5. Let's look at another example. And this one a little bit more challenging, just because we're going to add an additional variable. So our next example, example 2. We have negative 4a squared b. 3 a b cubed whenever we are multiplying again same rules apply numbers with numbers so negative 4 times negative 3 will give me negative 12 now letters with letters again keep in mind that they're same letters so a squared times just a keep in mind whenever you just have the variable okay if you see the letter A, it means A to the power of 1. So we have A, and we're adding 2 plus 1. Then we have our B value that we are multiplying together. So B to the power of 1 times B to the power of 3 will give us B1 plus 3. So now, don't mind this. I just showed you this step because this is what one of the steps you'd probably be doing in your head. But... We are really adding the exponents of the same base. So we have the same base, A and A. So the A stays the same. 
B, base is B, stay the same. All we're doing is adding the exponents. So our answer would come out to negative 12 A to the power of 3 B to the power of 4. Why? Well, we have two A's here plus one more A, total of three A's. A being multiplied by itself three times. B, we have one B here, we have three B's here to give us a total of B being multiplied together four times.